How's it going guys? It's Sunday. Uh, had to work six days this week. The joys of being a courier delivery guy. Uh, it's our busiest time of the year. This whole year has been pretty busy for us, but uh, yep, got to put in those hours. It's Christmas time and let's be honest, it gives us more money for our projects, you know? So today we're going to continue where we left off in the other video is um, I'm going to do the sound deadening, the, the insulation on the floor. Um, it's not Dynamat and things like that. I use a product that I found at the local hardware store. Um, somebody a few years ago in one of the Fox Body forums or groups or whatever told me about this stuff. Um, and it's pretty, pretty cheap for the product. And it does pretty much the same thing. Um, keeps the heat out of the floor because that was one of my biggest issues with my last one of my last one the, the floors get so hot in the summertime I was like dripping sweat so this stuff I use two layers of it and it works awesome like I haven't it makes it quieter inside the car um, the heat way down like way way down and uh, it, it just feels solider and quieter so what i have here is you can see it's this stuff okay so i get two different sizes so there's this one which i think is a uh, 12 inches wide by like 16 feet and then i have a smaller one that I use for the trans tunnels and things like that. So the stuff is called Resisto. It's like a membrane for roofing, like a waterproof membrane and things like that. So like you put this all on your floors and stuff, even if your carpet got soaked from your shoes or whatever, it's gonna protect the floors and everything if you do it properly. Um, it has, if you can see, when you peel this back, it's like a tar. Get it. So what I use is, I don't know if you can see it, but what I use is to help get that extra sticky. It's pretty sticky right now. I use my uh, my trusty heat gun, and I use like a plastic, you know, scraper or whatever to help push it down, so it forms to the floor is really nice. Um, so that's what's gonna happen today. We're gonna try to get the whole front of the car and above the rear seats done today. It's nice to do above the rear seats because uh, the floors where the rear seats are is because that's like right where the mufflers are. So especially if you have Flowmasters, you guys know about that droning sound, you know, I don't mind it. I think it's part of Fox body life, but uh, it really helps with that sound too as well. So I'm gonna get set up here. I'm gonna to try to stay out of the lights because it's blurring the camera and uh, we'll get started. Okay guys, so one of the first steps to laying anything or sound ending or what I'm using on the floor um, is obviously cleaning all the, the dirt and everything off the floors. So got my vacuum here. Sweet vacuum. Woo um, we're gonna vacuum it out and then uh, I'll get that all done, vacuumed, and then we'll start with the next step. Okay guys, so I have it all vacuumed out. Um, I'm gonna start on this spot here, but now that it's vacuumed, as you can see, there is some, a little bit of grease and dirt. So what we wanna try to do is uh, we want to clean that off. So I got uh, Chemical Guys Quick Detailer. I'm gonna use that. Um, it's not a cleaner, but it's gonna help wipe any excess stuff off there. So I'm gonna do that, and then we'll start getting ready to lay down the the sound ending stuff. Okay. 
have a problem keeping the light from shining. I tried repositioning one. As you can see, it's, I moved it, try to help get a little bit more light in the car and stuff. Um, but it is what it is. Um, so I got the floors all cleaned, wiped out. Um, so now we're gonna be ready for the sound ending stuff. So let's move this stuff out of the way. So what I wanna do, I'm gonna start with the big roll because this is a big, big, big section of floor that we're starting on, right? The front, it's already got a couple layers, so I only have to add a couple of strips to, except for when we're doing over the tunnel. But, um, so, what we wanna do is I'm gonna flip the camera around, and then, uh, I don't know, these phone numbers suck. So, anyways, I'll flip the camera around, and I'll show you how we're gonna do this. And we're back. Okay, so we have my stuff. What I'm gonna do is we're gonna roll it out. And we're back to having to do things with one hand again. But we're gonna roll it out. So I'm gonna make it go all the way up the tunnel to about here, okay? And then we'll cut it. So it's gonna lay out. We're gonna put it on top of that. We're gonna do this have it nice and close. We're gonna to try to jam it right against the side here. And we're gonna keep it tight to this because then I'm gonna put another strip here, but we're gonna make it come up to here. And then we're gonna use the smaller stuff for the top of the tunnel. We'll have to work around all that stuff. So that's what we're gonna do. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get it to where I want. I'm gonna cut it with my X-Acto blade across and then we'll start applying. Okay. So, I have I have my piece right there, as you can see. We're gonna make sure it stays nice and snug, all right? It's just sitting there, I still have to peel the sides off and stuff. But, we'll peel, as you can see, this layer of stuff off. I'll get the heat gun out. We'll heat it up a bit before we put it on, and then, we'll start applying it and then we'll push it down and have it so it follows all the grooves and everything because we wanted to seal up pretty nice so let's do it all right so i got my heat gun all set up so what we're gonna do is we're gonna peel this stuff back oh i dropped my bevy Damn it. We're already starting off with puddles. Look at this. Killing me today. Killing me. Okay. So. Gotta have your energy drink when you're doing stuff. So anyways. So we're going to peel back this stuff all the way back. Okay. So it's it's a little bit sticky, but not crazy sticky. So I have this spreader that I use once it's heated up to help apply it down. So what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna use the heat gun. I'm also gonna, it's chilly in Canada. So we're gonna have to warm up the metal a bit. I don't have heat in my garage. So we're gonna warm up the floor a bit with the heat gun. Okay. I see that works out beauty. It just warms the metal a little bit. You don't have to go too crazy with it. And then you want to try to just heat this up a bit. So when you see, when you see here, and then you see the difference. Right, and then a the little bit of heat, it's a lot more tacky. So I'm just gonna heat it up just a little bit.
Okay. I don't need to go too crazy because it does get hot very quick, this stuff. We just want it to apply really nice. So now that it's sticky, we're going to take it. We're going to kind of put it where it needs to be. It'll be a lot harder because, like I said, I'm one hand in it here. So I'm try to get it over here for you. So what we're going to do is get it under here. No, don't do that. Right, we're gonna do that. So it's gonna go here. Okay, I'm gonna try to position this in a position where you guys can see me kind of do what I'm doing. If I can. Okay, that's gonna be too low. So, anyways, so what we're gonna do is try to make sure that it's as tight as possible to where you want it to go. I said it's not going to be perfect perfect because of the angles and everything but you can see right so what we're going to do is we're going to get my piece out we got to get the heat gun to help it stick so what we're going to do is So I'm gonna have to get the heat gun out. I got a two-handed, so I'll put you guys down and uh, we'll go from there. Okay, guys, so I had to two-hand it because you gotta use the heat gun at a distance and it's good to wear a glove and stuff and help press it down. Um, so it applies pretty good, you know what I mean? Because there's a lot of little angles on these floors. So I'll show you what I got going on. So. This is what I have, you know, it doesn't have to be perfect. I had to make a relief cut here because of the angles. So make sure it overlaps, but everything gets pushed down. If you get too hot with the gun, it'll melt that, but I'm using two layers, so it'll be fine. But you can see if you get it too hot, you got to hold the gun a little bit of thing, but that helps it adhere. If you're in warmer places down South and things like that, this stuff's gonna stick without having to worry about heating it up and things like that. So it works out pretty good. So I'm gonna do another layer there. We're gonna have to make sure it just overlaps over top of this and then we'll go to the next section and it's pretty much it. And then we double it up and then we go from there. Okay, so now I got the second layer on there. You can see it's pretty good. Pretty good. What you want to do is you got to obviously make a relief hole. This one ain't that nice, but you know, relief hole for the seat belt, and then for the seats, you know, we're gonna cut out the circle for that. Let me just make my blade a little bit longer. Right. So we can, you know, get our seats back in. After okay. that one, and then uh, there's this one that we need to cut open. All right, so there we get those cut out like that so like I said I do two layers of this um, across the board um, to make it nice because um, it you know the other sound ending stuff it's different product or kind of similar but the two layers is just makes it what i find is perfect i did one layer once it was nice but then when i did the two layers the next time i thought it was a way better now it's probably not 
100% as nice as Dynamat or things like that, but it definitely improves the heat in the car and the, the sound and the, you know, and, and the noise and things like that. I'll guarantee you, you know, guys might think I'm crazy do, using this stuff or maybe other people do it too. I don't know. So I haven't had an issue with it. And yeah, so I'm going to finish this side up and then we'll come back and uh, we'll finish up the video. All right now. So I've pretty much finished um, doing the first layer. Um, I have to cut the little pieces you'll see, um, but to give you the idea exactly what it's supposed to be like. So take a look. Obviously I have to do like a strip here, things like that, but that's essentially how it's gonna turn out. So two layers of it, it cost me 40 bucks. I think one roll was like $15 and the other roll was like 25. So 40, 45 dollars, you know, kind of get the same thing as stuff that cost two, three hundred dollars, four hundred dollars for to do a whole car, you know. So not too bad. And uh, yeah, with the insulation that's on the carpets from the factory, um, it's amazing. Some guys buy those the new carpets from like LMR without that padding too, right? Because there's two options you can get without it and with it. So um, yeah, that's about it, man. That's kind of how it is. I'm just going to finish it up. I'm not going to bore you with all the other stuff, but... Um, that's how it's done. Like I said, the stuff's called Resisto. It's like a waterproof membrane for roofing. Um, it's what I use. You don't have to use it. Maybe you think it's stupid, but I like it. I've had a good experience with it. So, till next time. Got us some uh, goodies coming um, from LMR. Uh, hopefully next week or the week after. And uh, we'll do some videos with that stuff. Have a good day.